Life's a coat of many colors It is never black and white Can't have one without the other The dark without the light With the summer now approaching, life on the alluring island of Gondor hasn't been this alive in months. Especially for this little guy. He's only been alive for, well, a couple of days. But, oh boy, is he about to experience what life is like outside of the nest. Whether you're soaring through the beautiful skies of the island, exploring the dark, ashy, volcanic beaches, or maybe you're just swimming deep down below in the mysterious forests of the ocean, the creatures of Path of Titans have found their new home. In today's journey, however, we'll be following the life of this beautiful Thalassodromes. Being the only flyer capable of living on this island, it has free reign over the skies, and the nearby islands. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh no, did it kill it? <gasps> I forgot they can actually come on land! Oh! Poor little guy was just resting! Oh, they look so cool though! <gasps> that is so cool! Get out of here! But that's so cool though! Well, what I meant was they mostly have free reign. They must still be careful of the Kawikia, who are able to beach themselves temporarily to catch unsuspecting prey. The journey of this pterosaur is truly one you don't want to miss. From sneaking food from a sleeping spino to watching two giants fight for their life, this little guy lived quite a magnificent life. But before we get into that, we must begin like every good story must. Right at the beginning of our Thalassodromius' journey. At last we had reached the mainland, and what a sight it was. And you being here alone would be the start to a dangerous, yet exciting journey. And for that, I was excited. Hey guys, off on your morning walk. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you didn't like that one. <laughs> alright, alright, I get it, I get it. On our arrival, we were greeted by a large Rex family. Not the friendliest bunch, but... What's to be expected by a Rex, right? I had decided to continue my journey inland, in the search for some fresh water. However, on my arrival to what I thought would be a great lake was actually a dry pit. The summer here in Gondwa was not playing around, and the lack of water seemed to be getting to some more than others. Whoa, what's going on here? Are they fighting? I think they're totally fighting. <laughs> Maybe they're fighting for the dominance of the horde? I think it's like an alpha male kind of fight. I'm kind of interested. <laughs> I want to see who wins this. I'm rooting for the darker one. Yeah, he looks strong. These two giant males were fighting it out in the dry pit. The winner, he would be accepted by the herd and would lead them in the future. The loser, however, he would be exiled and forced to journey onwards alone. I had seemed to get here just in time to watch the end of the show. <laughs> See you later, loser. I never thought I would actually be able to watch such a cool fight. That was awesome. Hey, you deserved it, buddy. You go to your family. <laughs> So cool. As much as I wanted to stay, my thirst was starting to get low. So I decided to follow this dried up riverbed in hopes of finding some fresh water. And in my luck, this valley had no lack of that. Oh my god, finally some water. <laughs> I knew following that riverbed would work. Oh, are those sarcos? That's so cool. Oh, and he goes. <laughs> Should we bait him? Let's pretend we're gonna land here. Oh my god, I'm gonna come drink from this water where I didn't see you. <laughs> I'm kidding. 
Oh, there he is. Oh my god, that was scary. Get out of here. <laughs> it's like a whole family. That's so cool. Okay, well, I'm definitely not drinking from that river. Let's drink from this lake, I think. So, that's what I did. I filled up with water and then decided to head deeper <laughs> inland in the search for something to eat. What is that? I don't really know the noises in this game too well. What? Whoa! What are these? This is so cool! It's like I heard of... Are these the Lambio? I think these are called the Lambio. That's so cool! <laughs> Hello. In my search for food, I had stumbled across a large herd of Lambio crossing the marsh. This was my first time encountering this creature, so I was pretty excited to see them. See ya. I think there's one more over here somewhere. Oh, it's a Spino. He's eating. Did he kill one? This herd while crossing the marsh seemed to have gotten ambushed by a hungry spino, one of the many dangers when entering such a watery territory. However, even though this was one of the largest apexes on this island, my hunger was starting to get low. So, I decided I would try sneak a bite in before it woke up again. Ooh, don't mind me! Oh, he seems chilled. Don't mind me while I do. Thank you very much, sir. Oh, oh, no, 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 oh, no, no, he's not, is he friendly? No, <laughs> okay, <laughs> he's definitely not happy about that one. All right, all right, I'm sorry. Well, and to nobody's surprise, he was not very happy with me stealing his food and quickly chased me away, leaving me starving. Well, I guess I at least got one bite in. I do need some stamina though. We should definitely look for some food after this. Because, uh, <laughs> we're not looking too good. However, that bite should keep me going for just a little bit longer. And I was right. Our food was now below 10%. Our days on this island are now numbered. <laughs> Heavy rains had started to pour down from the sky. It was a nice break from the scorching sun. However, a thick fog was starting to settle in, making it increasingly harder to see anything. My chances of finding food were now lowered significantly. I can't see anything. Oh. <laughs> That's quite cool. Look at them go. <gasps> oh! He should be dead. No way. No way. <laughs> I've got to be the luckiest person on this planet. There is no way. It's dead, right? Oh yeah, he's dead. <laughs> no ways. That was so cool. Once again, luck was on my side. I suppose when performing such dangerous jumps, risk of dying is inevitable. And unfortunately for this guy, he was chosen as my next meal. After filling up my stomach, I decided I would wait out the rain under the broken bridge. This bridge would not only shelter me from the rain, but also keep me safe from any possible predators. Well, looks like this rain isn't stopping anytime soon. I suppose I might as well just sleep it out and wait for it to stop. Oh, it's actually over. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right. Well, let's continue then. Ooh. Off we go. Not too far from where I was were some hot springs. The air here was a lot warmer than the surrounding areas, so I decided I would stick around for a while. But on my arrival, it had seemed I was not the only one with this plan. Hello there, sir. You're looking a little bit lost. <laughs> Come for the warmth too. They're so big. Oh my god. Although this bird is a lot bigger than. Is that a. There's a Rex! <laughs> what the... Wait, does he know? Oh my god. Oh my god, he's going for it! I don't. What the hell just happened? <laughs> I was just here for some warm air. <laughs> With the cover of the fog, the Rex had managed to sneak up on this solo trike, managing to land the first big blow. However, the trike is not an easy opponent. This fight could go either way. I wonder if he was following him for a while, or if the trike even knew. I have a feeling he knew. Oh! Was that a leg break? Oh no! Oh no, it's not looking good for the trike! 
I think his leg is broken. Can he? Oh no! Oh, oh, in he goes. Oh, GG's, man. Oh shit, I'm out of stam. You just stay with that body. Oh, good. <laughs> I need to just. Uh. That was such a bad time to run out of stam, too. Oh my god. I'm just gonna get stammed down here. Oh, GG's to that guy though. The Rex had managed to win that fight, rewarding him with quite a big meal. That whole trike was sure to feed a solar Rex for quite a while. However, I had no plans to stick around any longer, and my search for food had to continue. So, I decided this time to do something I hadn't done in a while. Fishing. I haven't been fishing in quite a while, so I don't really know where the fishing spots are. And I, I feel like there aren't really any spots, I think you just need to... Just look underwater, see if you find any fish. However, it doesn't seem like there's any here. Maybe further down here. Nah. It's so empty. Oh my god. Hmm. Oh my god. Oh shit. Why is there so many? Oh my god. Oh, oh. oh my god. Oh. That was terrifying! Not quite the fish I was looking for! Oh my god! I need to land! What the hell? Oh my god, I forgot they can do that! Ah, you missed! <laughs> Get it. Take off, take off! Um, there's so many! Why are there so many? I've completely forgot they could just land like that. Okay, you know what? <laughs> Screw fishing. Well, as Islander said, scrap the fishing. That was terrifying and we're never doing that again. They're still following me. <laughs> Leave me alone. Are they gonna follow me all the way to the shore? Oh my god. <laughs> Leave me alone. Yeah, what you gonna do from there, huh? Oh, look how many there are. Get away! You can't come here. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, what do you want? You want some of this? You ain't getting none of it. See you later. <laughs> The Kawikia were clearly very hungry as they followed me all the way to the shore. However, I was not going to be their next meal, so I decided to fly off and eventually land for some stamina. Okay, I should be good here. I'm gonna get some stam quick, then we'll head back inland and hopefully we can find something else to eat. Hopefully. This game really is quite beautiful though. Like that sun... Th Ooh. What was that? Oh, where is it? Oh, there they are. Whoa. Um. <laughs> Here goes nothing. <laughs> gotcha. Okay, first bite in, first bite in. I have never hunted something on land <laughs> with this bird, so I might not be good at this. And I gotta dodge these trees. Which one was it? I think it was this one? That one. Oh shit! Oh, I'm a better swimmer than you! Oh, we got it! Yeah! It actually worked! Get out of here! Oh my god, I actually got it! How are we gonna eat this now? Can I just grab a piece? Yeah! Oh, that's so cool! The hunt was a success, my first proper hunt ever, and I was pretty proud of myself. It wasn't the smoothest fight, but it got the job done. Oh my god, that was so cool. <laughs> it makes me want to do a Hatchling Thief video in Path of Titans. Wink wink, nudge nudge. <laughs> well, at least when my server comes out. Which, by the way, if you guys wanted to play on my server, my server for Path of Titans, it will be a semi-realism server, and it comes out this weekend, so... Keep an eye out for it. I might even make a community post when the actual server goes live. Anyway guys, that's gonna end this story here. I really hope you guys did enjoy this journey. If you did, of course, leaving a like and a comment really helps boost my videos to the algorithm. So, I would truly appreciate it. 
But without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next video. Or you know more, because I am back. Here you go, little dudes. Enjoy that. <laughs> so cute. Hello. Oh, there's a little guy swimming here. Yeah, there he is. He's swimming around here somewhere. Where you at? <laughs> I saw you.